Over the last few years, there's been a huge explosion of people traveling around in caravans and camper trailers. But did you know around 500,000 kilometers? How do you think you're going? Uh, I'm trying my best. Yeah. <laughs> you're doing all How right. do you think I'm you're going? You're doing okay. Yeah. You can work on a bit of improving, right. but you're okay. Thank you. Dark chocolate? Yes. And dark chocolate is actually really good for you, really healthy. Um, it's good for you and healthy. Exactly, yeah. I'm going to eat a truckload of this now. <laughs> Well, Alan, what can I say about this whole experience has been delicious. Good on you, Angie. <laughs> did you just really do that? <laughs> yeah, I just did that. <laughs> Good on you, Angie. Central to the design of the home is the courtyard. Now, the kitchen and living open out onto the alfresco, which makes it the perfect space to entertain. Pretty impressive entrance to a hotel, don't you think? Just a casual 250 metre stroll down the flume and you're at your accommodation. The 1K kids run. Sure, there's a chance of winning something. You ready? You ready? Gary, you have this incredible gift. When you open your mouth, everyone listens. <laughs> I don't know if it's because there's a lot of swearing, but <laughs> but, in fact, but you have that gift, and you can turn the world around in a certain way. How are you going to use that? I know you do it for business, but how else? You know, I think I, I have a lot of ambitions with. How else? Stepping inside this magnificent structure, I am in awe, and I must admit, a little frightened. Daring architect and engineer Frank Dixon dreamt up this ambitious project when he was holidaying here in Fairhaven in the 1970s. Now, the pole house is designed to be able to sway like a big tree up to six inches and to withstand winds as strong as Cyclone Tracy. Thank God for that. Do you feel relaxed now? Oh, look, just being down here, I feel relaxed. So <laughs> it's not about fishing, Patrick. I know you've personally been through some pretty dark times yourself yeah. and you're open about it, which is yeah. amazing. We're all about breaking the stigma here. Oh, yeah. Can you tell us a bit about that? The amount of people that have said to me, I oh, imagine if you had a real problem. Oh, you're you know? kidding. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, Don't you I, just wish that those people could feel it for one for day? For one second and watch them squeal yes. like a baby. You wouldn't wish it on your worst enemy. <laughs> Last season, we gave away a life-changing set of teeth worth $30,000. This season, we get to do it all again. This is a big moment. How are you feeling? Yes. I bet you are. Are you ready to see <laughs> I'm yourself? Ready. One, two, three. Gee, that's me. That's you. What do you think? <laughs> what are you going to do with those chompers? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been smiling a lot, I know that. That's <laughs> pretty amazing. Yeah. What a transformation. Brilliant. Cool. Does that make you feel emotional? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Have a look at this. Gorgeous views, a beautiful natural setting, and pools of liquid medicine so you can emerge a brand new you. Are we ready? So Are we ready, Pete? Yeah. Yes! Okay, one, two, three, we're in. Oh my God. Ah! Don't Hands on the side. Okay. Down, Come on. Down, 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 down. That's it, Ange. Oh. Yes, you can. Oh. Come on, boys. Yes, you can. We've got it. Oh. Oh. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. Successful media career and Shane Crawford is just getting started. What happens to your mental health as soon as you've finished that? What happens when the doors shut on the footy world? All of a sudden you're in the big wide world all by yourself. So mm. I think it's really important that you've got something passionate to move on to. So what do we think? Hotel or no tell? If you want to soak up the gorgeous Melbourne laneway vibes in a fun and quirky fashion, then no tell definitely has to be on your hit list for your next Melbourne adventure. For financial freedom, it's essential that we educate ourselves on what some may call the boring bits, and that is getting to know our finances. <laughs> now, Sam. I, I was so focused on those words, I couldn't think of what's next. No, that's fine. Right. No. Oh my god! Are you okay? <laughs>